Okay. Sealing up the speaker box. I think I pretty much got it sealed. Um, took my to sand this little uh, edge down here. I uh, I guess my cut wasn't completely straight, but uh, instead of using silicone to seal the speaker, I'm going to uh, use weather stripping. I've also put weather stripping around the edge of the ATV fiberglass box to seal that hatch that will be painted and water waterproofed. But uh, yeah, it's going together nicely. Um, I had these, uh, the sub wired as a series versus parallel. So on all the audio t uh, videos I've done prior to this one, I was running eight ohm. So I was really uh, hurting my uh, output, but now I have it uh, wired at four ohm. I've re-soldered the connections there, and uh, I'm about to solder these connections to this uh, quick release because it is an ATV subwoofer box, and um, like I have on the fiberglass box, I want quick release for when we need to remove it. So that's my uh, update. Hopefully here soon I can do a pressure test. Oh, also I removed the, uh, the inside 90s I had on the ports. Um, when I did my frequency test, I think I was, it was just too low. It was not gonna be audible on the four-wheeler in an open environment. So I think I'm going to try to stay around 50 hertz. Of course, it can be tuned from the outside because we have, have this lip. But uh, probably put the 90 back on uh, and I may do some feel to the box just to reduce the airspace for a six inch sub but that would also reduce my output.